Namaskar, this is Mehul from Filter Concept. In our earlier episode, we discuss about air filtration and we discuss about uh, the air quality which human should use for their intake. In our today's episode, we are going to discuss about the air quality of industry and what are all uh, you know other area wherein air and air filtration are required for industry. So to make it simple for my, uh, my friends and uh, the common audience, <clears throat> there would be two classification of air filtration for industry. One is air intake, second filtration of exhaust air from the industry. Now, air intake required a filtration wherein we want to remove suspended particles coming with the air. We know that air quality is different for every part, every corner of this world. We live in a different, uh, you know, uh, different condition and depending upon that, the air quality is different. But if you see for industry, for any process, they have certain guideline to follow. Now, when we talk about air, industry and industry players have identified certain guideline for their air intake. At the same time, air which they are releasing to the atmosphere after uses has certain guideline to follow as per the government norms identified by that respective countries. So these are the two area which we are going to cover in our today's episode. When we talk about air intake, industry normally use high capacity uh, blowers, engines, generators, turbines to take atmospheric air and they have to filter it to remove suspended impurities to standardize or, or to regularize their process and further use of that air. They have a different class, different grade of filtration which they have to follow. And this grade or this filtration rating, efficiency, everything has been defined by the OEM, the manufacturer, those who have supplied this equipment to the industry. They have different filter medium to retain that particle depending upon the size and the filtration class and that is how the, they are followed. So the air which they use for their processes has to be filtered and it should have a smooth functionality for their processes. So that is an objective of air filtration when we talk about air intake. There are a lot of equipments available, there are a lot of filter media available in a different shape, size and there are lot many parameters which one should identify before standardizing or before designing a system for that air intake. This would be our topic for the next episode wherein we will understand how to design 
a best adequate system for air intake application. What are the parameters one should evaluate and how a system should be designed and what could be the result and what are the affecting parameters one should evaluate before finalizing or designing a system. So that will cover in this episode preliminary will understand that these are the requirement of air filtration. So air intake is a requirement industry has to filter that contaminated air and use it for the further process. So that is one part. There is a great range of micron rating where industry use uh, filtration systems for removal of suspended particles from 0.3 micron with an efficiency of 99 percent to 100 micron. So that is a range and in this range we have different medium to address that requirement. So that is one area we are going to discuss in our next episode. The second application is the exhaust of air. Now air is a common source for all of us and industry too and they use it as per their requirement and they filter it and then further use for the process. But when it comes to the use or discharge of that exhaust air after that using, after that uses by the industry, there are a lot of norms laid down by the various authority that when you release air to the atmosphere, it has to achieve certain level before it release to the atmosphere to ensure that you are protecting your environment your, and because of industry the environment is not polluted. So there are guidelines, so that is a second biggest area of air filtration where industry working day and night and, and, and they, they have challenges, they, they identify uh, you know uh, uh, their challenges, they identify the solution and, and, and that is how they overcome those challenges. So that would be again a dedicated episode for us wherein we will discuss that what kind of filtration solution available for industry to deal with the exhaust air or used air which they they, uh, they uh, before they release to the environment they will have to filter. So these are the two area talking further about uh, the, the exhaust or the used industrial air. So there are industry which which uh, which consume air for the operation, and there are industries wherein because of the process surrounding of that area or the process area get contaminated, and that create challenges for the industry for the operators working over there and to the environment at a great, a great extent and that is where air filtration play a major role. So take an example of uh, cement manufacturing plant. So normally uh, cement or fly ash processing or any such application for that matter mines and mineral industries. When we talk about these industry, they, they got the raw material in you know a, a rock form, in lump form, they have to grind it, they have to pass through various processes and through these processes there would be a lot of contaminants generated which industry has to ensure that 
when it released to the environment, they are free from that contaminants or that pollutants. So that is a, a biggest area where industry suffers a lot and required solution. I think to a broader extent, we have tried to identify two major classification of air filtration, air intake and solution for exhaust air. In our next episode, we will discuss about how to overcome those challenges of contaminated air and how air filtration can help and secondly we will discuss about air intake solution for air filtration. I hope this uh, episode would have uh, make you understand about the requirement or the importance of air filtration for the industry. We will try to cover many more such technical point in our next episode, next presentation. Till then, please do take care of yourself and thank you so much for your lovely, lovely comments. Thank you so much.